Hello my fellow YouTubers, this is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is a video on my why. It's a really, really, really incredible application for your iPhone that turns it into a wireless Wi-Fi hotspot. Let's get started. All right, so my why is an application that is, well, obviously exclusive to jailbroken phones. Now, for many of you, this may be the solitary reason you do jailbreak because it works really well. It's very basic and there's not a heck of a lot to it. Now, one thing I'd like you to keep in mind, just in case we run into any technical difficulties along the way, is it is optimized for 3.1.2 and I am running 3.1.3. So, um, that will be one thing to note to yourself if it doesn't work as planned. Um, what you're going to want, though, is you're going to want to be on AT&T 3G if you're here in the United States. It will not work with T-Mobile Edge, and it will not work on AT&T Edge. So you do need to be on the 3G network. If your 3G isn't on, uh, you can activate that by going to General, Network, and 3G. You're also going to want to ensure that your Wi-Fi is off. Now, it is kind of rhetoric. It doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense, but... You're gonna do. You're gonna want to make sure that that Wi-Fi network little switch is off, so you're not connected to your Wi-Fi network at home or wherever or whatever. Just leave that off, and then you launch my Y. Now, as you can see, this interface is very simple. Um, tethering is an option. You can tether via Bluetooth and USB to your computer, um, or you can send. And this is what's cool: a Wi-Fi hotspot out. Now, what it does is it downloads 3G data to your phone, and then it rebroadcasts it through the Wi-Fi wow, wi chip inside the phone. Well, why is this cool? Well, if you have said device, the iPad, and uh, it's only Wi-Fi enabled, because either A, you were too impatient and just bought one anyway, or B, didn't think you'd be using 3G data, but now you're like, well, kind of want it. This is a perfect example. Um, by having this dumb little application, five bucks, or free if you want to acquire it that way. Five bucks, you can get basically the $130 equivalent of this. So upgrade, go up a step. If you're getting the 16 gig 3G, get the 32 gig Wi-Fi and then uh, you got 30 bucks extra for a case and uh, you got five bucks for this app. So um, this is why this is cool. And it, one thing I'd like you to understand is when you load a web page on 3G on your iPhone, it's not that fast. Well, that's not actually the 3G coming into your phone. The 3G from AT&T can go up to 7 megabytes down on this device. That is blazing fast. Blazing fast. I mean, considerably. That is really fast for a dumb little phone. Now, why doesn't it? Because AT&T likes to be courteous of other people, and it kind of restricts and says, Whoa, iPhone, you're taking way too much data. The BlackBerry across the street is trying to get email, and you're hogging all of it because you're streaming video. Well, if you jailbreak your iPhone and install my Y, it removes that restriction on the baseband, and therefore, you can get the full amount of data coming down into your little phone. Now, yes, the people in your apartment building will probably hate you, but you can get Wi-Fi on your device. Now, this is how you will do so. You'll either push on, actually, that is your option, but the Wi-Fi name, that's the network in which the name will appear, so on the iPad, I'll show you. Um, it's set up right now for Quinn. Um, I like to keep things simple. I'm actually going to even go more simple than that and just do the letter Q. I don't know why, but I've experienced that the more stuff you add to it, like Quinn's wireless Wi-Fi network via iPhone 3GS, it just doesn't work. So keep it simple. One, two letters, three letters, or a number or two. Don't put any dashes or spaces or any weird stuff like that. So this is my home network, and uh, that is what the iPad, I went into system settings and told it to forget this network. So right now, that's the only network in my proximity. Um, now, we are going to turn Wi-Fi tethering on, and by the way, you can turn on WPC, wow, WEP security if you want to. Um, that's a pretty cool, neat little feature, and uh, we'll do it, what the heck, just to show you how it can work. So if you're in an apartment building or something like that, and you wanna have 3G data, you can do so without all your neighbors leeching off of you. So you turn the switch on, and it says starting network queue. Now, I really hope it does not fail. It did, it failed. So, 
Maybe my methodology, maybe my idea of the Wi-Fi off is wrong. Let's turn the Wi-Fi on. Nelson Motorola, forget this network. Okay. So now we are just on 3G and it doesn't know any of the networks in proximity. We are going to go into my Y and say, dear my Y, please go. Starting network queue. And it seems to be working thus far. Okay, that did it. So I'm just full of crap. You do want the Wi-Fi chip on. Just make sure that you're not connected to any Wi-Fi hotspots near you. So there you go. And we are now broadcasting. Now, as you can see in the menu bar, it is saying, wow, Quinn, you're getting data. It tells you how much you've used. Now, the cool thing about my Y is it's like tethering. You don't have to be in this application to use it. You can send a text message, you can check your email, even take a phone call, and it will continue to tether to your device. Now, on my iPad, you just saw it, the queue popped up, and we are going to enter the password key. Um, the WEP key which I created is F83, so F83C43ADE4. So we push join, give it a minute, and in the top left hand corner of our iPad, you can see that it is now connected. Now, I will show you that this actually does work. Um, this is the internet usage right here. We're just gonna keep this up in the top corner right there. So 53 kilobytes down. Now, if I open my email client and try to fetch email right now, you're gonna see that, yeah, data's coming in and a lot of it. So I just checked email, I got, what, four emails? And it's, you know, a couple megabytes now, oh, just over a, no, there's a thousand kilobytes to a, so that didn't take very much data. Do you know what we should do uh, is uh, we should load Engadget.com. So I have Engadget.com typed in here. If I push refresh, you will see, in fact, that it is downloading and it's loading quickly because we said, hey, Mr. iPhone, transmit the full speed. So you honestly have a fast not just good, not 3G quality, but a fast Wi-Fi connection on this device. I am surprised, I'm extremely surprised. So you saw that, that was probably 10 seconds, no, not even that, 10, less than 10 seconds to down, to load in gadget.com. That is fast because this website is a blog, there's tons of high quality pictures and it's long. I mean, there are a lot of articles on one page. So that was really, really fast um, for you know, considering that we're just hooked up to 3G. Now you will notice up in our usage bar that that page was about a megabyte of data, a little more downloaded. So the cool thing is it does show you the usage. Now, just for kicks and giggles, I wanna go into my photos and show you what I did last night. That sounds awkward. Last night I watched a T, oh, by the way, there's my crash car. Yeah, really cool, Gwen. I didn't crash it, someone ran into me, but you know, what can you do? Oh, I know, you can get their insurance and make them fix it. Okay, so. This is a screenshot I took last night. This was just after I watched the latest episode of V on the ABC video player um, for iPad. So I was streaming via Wi-Fi to my iPad. Um, why? Well, the Wi-Fi network in my house was super slowed down because I was uploading two huge files. So I just said, hey, I'll use my 3G network on my phone and it worked marvelously. I'll show you a screenshot of the video quality, but as you can see, if it will load 296 megabytes. So if you're thinking the iPad 3G $15 a month plan will work, that is so wrong. 40 minutes of a TV show was over th almost 300 megabytes. So that's your whole month, 15 bucks right there. So you're gonna wanna pay 30 and get the whole plan if you're going with the 3G iPad. But if you have the iPhone, it does decrease battery, but not a ton. You'd be surprised. Um, I thought, oh, my battery's gonna be sucked like crazy. Well, this went from um, 100 fully charged percent to 82 or something like that of an hour of video streaming. So that's really good. I mean, the screen was off, nothing was happening, but it was getting 3G data constantly and a lot of it and rebroadcasting it through Wi-Fi, which we all know is a huge battery killer. So I was really impressed by how much of a battery killer this isn't. So uh, we're still connected to Wi-Fi, the screen's off, but you can see via that blue tab that we're still on, we're still connected. Um, and you know, we can do whatever we want. We can go into the app store. And the coolest thing about this is on a non-jailbroken device, on an iPad 3G, it goes 
Well, you can't download that app. That app is 30 megabytes, or that music video is 40 megabytes, or that podcast is 40 megabytes. You have to be on Wi-Fi to download that. Well, if you're connected to your modem, your iPad thinks it's on Wi-Fi even though it's on 3G. So, you're getting a ton of data over 3G, and you don't have that 20 megabyte cap, which is another advantage. Um, so it's just a really, really cool, smooth, elegant system. Um, it doesn't kill your iPhone battery much. It does an excellent job. I'll show you a picture um, of V, a TV show I watched that I took last night while I was watching this. Uh, you'll see the video quality is really, really good. Um, that was over 3G. I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. That was simply 3G. And my white balance is a little off, granted, but it's a really superb picture. It's a little... You know, it's not pixelized. I'm really impressed. So we can even go into ABC Player, and I'll just show you that I'm not bluffing. Uh-oh. Didn't want to open a song. Come on now. Don't play. Copyright. I have. Good song, though. Okay. So ABC Player. We are currently connected over Wi-Fi to our 3G modem. Now, this is what's funny, is you're going to see the data usage just skyrocket. Um, one show I'm going to start have to watch, I'm going to have to start watching is Happy Town. It looks terribly unhappy, but as you can see, it's not quite as fast as Wi-Fi, but it is pretty good. So the first episode was this one. Oops. Yeah, so yeah, there you go. You turn your device, and it'll show you a commercial, and the commercial always looks terrible, because the commercial doesn't take advantage of the bandwidth, but the TV show does. But you can already see on this Wi-Fi indicator, it's going, whoa, the following episode you're taking a lot of data in, so look at that. By Avino. I mean, there's not even live video playing, it's just music, and that's that's Any quite a bit of a minute. So you see. So, this is pixelized, kind of it's not good, but the, that's the commercial. Just wait a second till we get to the actual feature presentation, and it will be really good. So, you can see it's just raping the data usage on my iPhone. But, hey, you have unlimited data on this, there is no cap. Now granted, if you were downloading 40 gigabytes a month, AT&T go, might go, hey, you know, your iPhone ease off a little, but, maybe not. So, this picture is awesome. It's not at all pixelated. Oops. It's dark, so that's a bad example. Let's fast forward a little. Can we do that? So it takes a second, but it's really pretty good. Now that's a little pixelized. Wait till it starts playing. Now it does buffer in advance, so right now it's a little pixelized, but if I was to wait two minutes, it buffers, so the video quality gets substantially better. It already is better. It's pretty good. I'm really impressed. It's not quite as good as my Wi-Fi network, but why my Wi-Fi network is blazing fast. Um, but honestly, this is really cool for a 3G app. And then when you're done, you just navigate over to my Y, and you say, hey, I'm done with you. You turn it off, and it's all good. It just disconnects you. And then you're good to go on throughout your day. You save your battery and all that good stuff. Now, once I disconnected from broadcasting and said, hey, Quentin, you want to join the network in your house? So, uh, yeah. If you want to acquire this package, go to Cydia. If you want to pay it honest to gosh, just spend the $5 and get it. I think it's highly worth it. Um, let me just join this network real quick. Stupid network. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just type it in my Wi-Fi password. Okay. Stop bothering me. Just connect already. I'm gonna kill you. Go. Okay, screw you. Cancel. Oh my golly. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. So, um, basically, this does work on 3.1.3. Um, it only works with an iPhone 3G and iPhone 3GS. However, I would highly recommend that you get a 3GS simply because the 3GS's processor can handle it faster. It just works a little bit smoother on a 3GS, but if you have a 3G, that'll work as well. On the original Edge iPhone, don't even try. You may be able to load a page, but not much. I mean, don't don't even think about streaming video. It's not gonna happen. But uh, if you wanna get the Honest to Gosh version, it's M-Y-W-I. Just search that in Cydia, and uh, you'll see that it is available in the Cydia store for $4.99. Now, if you want to get the free version or a cracked version, just to give it a shot, just to try it out, that's what I've installed right now. I'm going to buy it after this video, but um, you can get it from the Podula repo. Now, to do this, you go to Sources, Edit, Add, and you will type in P-O-D, 
U L O dot com slash. Okay. So that's what you need to add. And then you can do a search for my why. And it says no rock, so install it via city. Yeah, don't use installer, don't use a rock or IC, whatever. Um, so there you go. My why. Just remember to do a hard reset after you install it. Um, that is very, very beneficial. If you don't, you're going to have to uninstall it and reinstall it. So once it's installed, it'll say return to Cydia. It may even prompt you to reboot your phone. I don't remember. But if you reboot, once it's rebooted, do a forced restart. Hold the home button and the top button for 10 seconds. And then you're good to go. And then uh, make sure Wi-Fi is on, but you are not connected to any Wi-Fi networks near you. And ensure that AT&T 3G is on. This is Quinn, and that's Nazi iPhone Guy. Thank you so very much. That is my why. A really really, really cool application. If you don't want to get 3G on your iPad, if you don't want to buy the 3G iPad, it doesn't just work with iPads either. iPod touches, computers, anything that can receive a Wi-Fi device, this bad boy will handle. So my why, it's really cool. Just go out, spend the five bucks. Don't be a cheap loser like me. Just kidding. I'm going to buy it right now, but go out and buy it. It's really cool. Really worth it. My why? Thank you so much for watching. This is Quinn. That's Nazi iPhone, guys. Sorry for the long video, but I think it's something a lot of you will really like. As always, stay snazzy. See you all.